Hey guys, we all know it can be tricky to get kids to eat vegetables, but I found that roasting them brings out a sweetness the kids tend to love. So today I'm gonna to show you three recipes, one easy way. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. For all of your recipes, you'll need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and then you'll also need some olive oil and salt. For the first recipe, you'll also need asparagus, lemon, and Parmesan cheese. So I have a baking sheet and I'm gonna lay my asparagus in a single layer so they can roast nice and even. And you can see I've already snapped the tough ends off the asparagus. Now I'm gonna drizzle it with a little olive oil and then hit it with a little salt. And then toss them around so that they're evenly coated. I'm gonna put the asparagus in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes until it starts to blacken. My asparagus is cooked, and the final step is to drizzle it with a little lemon juice to help balance all the flavor. So I'm just gonna squeeze it right on. It smells so good. Next up, we have some delicious roasted carrots. And for those you'll need cut carrots, honey, cumin, and cinnamon. So to start, I wanna show you guys how I've cut my carrots. You can do it any way you like, but I love doing it on the diagonal because it really helps caramelize them and gives you a little more surface area for your sweetness. So what I'm gonna do with the carrots is drizzle them with some olive oil and some salt, just like we did with the asparagus. And then I'm gonna add my spices. I'm using some cumin and cinnamon today because I love the kind of contrast of those two flavors, but you can use one or neither one of them if your kids don't like them. And finally, a little drizzle of honey. And of course, the honey is really what seals the deal with your kids. I really wanna give these guys a good toss before I put them in the pan, that way they'll caramelize evenly. Now right onto my sheet and into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Sorry guys, this pan has seen quite a few rested vegetables before. My carrots are out of the oven. I'm gonna give them a quick toss and then they're ready for rider. Finally, we have our roasted broccoli. And for that, you'll need broccoli, garlic, and pine nuts. For the broccoli, I'm gonna toss everything in the pan to save on dishes. And I'm actually using a pan that has higher sides because during cooking, I like to toss it a few times and it's easier in here. So I'm gonna pour my broccoli in and then add my olive oil. I'm gonna add my chopped garlic and my pine nuts to the mix and then hit it with a little salt. I'm gonna give it a really good toss before I throw it in my oven for about 15 minutes. My broccoli is out of the oven. I've cooked it just how I like it, which is extra crispy on the edges, but you can also take it out when it's just turned vibrantly green and it'll be a little crunchier. Now I know there are a lot of complicated, fancy recipes out there for vegetables, but sometimes simpler is better, especially when it comes to kids, so I hope you guys give these a try. Also, I have loved going through all your social media posts where you've tagged me for variations of these recipes, so I hope you continue to do that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.